how do you get all of this wealth in terms of mental wealth and purpose and the fact that you want to give and help other people and a sense of community but at the same time pair that up with actual financial wealth because without that financial wealth you may not be able to help other people because you're too busy helping yourself and trying to improve yourself and you know yeah, you're too, you? you're too stressed and focused on yourself. Yeah, but so that's the old-fashioned advice: charity starts at home. You can't look after other people. You can't. You can't buy a cup of coffee for someone who's homeless if you can't look after yourself and feed yourself first. And that's what you know. Like you've got to get it the right way around. But then it's also getting the balance because you've got to have a tipping point. There's a point where you're sorted, and most people don't objectively calculate that that you don't objectively put in a strategy to then create that and therefore it creates stress because it's not like how we're going from point a to point b right now in this vehicle people don't have that clear goal in their mind about where they want to go and also why like we know where we're going why we're going there and what we're going to be doing most people don't know that with regards to their life goals there's like oh yeah i should do this and then that starts making things from a mental health point of view really dangerous because what happens they start looking at the other people who they deem to be successful on the outside and some of them are some of them aren't and it, well i th no i th i th yeah there's that as well but i think it's when you're looking at the you know your five-year plan or your 10-year plan or where you want to be that's when it gets overwhelming sometimes because you start catastrophizing certain things like you'll you'll be like you know like if something goes wrong then you'll just be like oh well then that's gonna have a knock-on effect to that you know I'm just not gonna you know no one's gonna love me no one's gonna do this no one's gonna do that and so then you start going into overdrive and you start over analyzing everything so I think if you can do even like takes very very small small steps into you know not thinking about your massive goal but just thinking about like little things that you can do then you'll be able to maybe yeah. overcome so it's like anything so you can break down any big, large, scary goal and chunk it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. And so that five-year goal, you break it down into a yearly goal, like what you do achieve this year to be in line with that. Then also you want to break it down into monthly goals and then into weekly and daily and so on. So you know exactly what you're doing. And then you just put in that strategy and schedule and then maybe check in however your comfort levels is, or whether checking in once a week, once a month, once a quarter, once a year, that the, that is still where you're going, you know, it's, uh, is your needle pointing towards what you still want to achieve. And so, how, do, how do you do all of that at the same time as f f like living life and living in the moment and... What's the difference? Because I think sometimes when, like I, I especially feel sometimes when I'm like focused on something, I don't tend to enjoy the process of it it's just like okay i need to get this done that's that's just a sense of gratitude yeah. that's just being grateful for the opportunity that you have the ability to or have the luxury to be able to sit there and ponder and create rather than wondering where you're going to get running water from today that may or may not kill you and your family like i know i'm going really basic and going like oh my gosh but we've come so long so far that we can just turn a tap on but those basic things and just being grateful for the fact that you know what i didn't have to pave down this road i didn't have to build this car i didn't have to go to the research all these things i just i got the opportunity to just achieve those things and a lot of people don't have that in the world and not just in terms of right now i'm talking about in terms of time i'm talking about just the fact that we are existing now in this moment is really exciting and I'm really grateful for that moment. The fact that I'm grateful that I could have been, potentially, I've thought about this a lot of my entire life, like, hey, what if I was born to different parents? What if I was born in a different situation? And it's, you know, it's really fascinating because you go, well, I'm not, and therefore what am I gonna do about it to make sure I make a better life for everyone else? And, and that's a whole other place. So you gotta think about it from that point of view, rather than worrying about, you know, like you gotta get yourself sorted first. Then you got, and it doesn't take that long. It's only like twenty percent of it. It's only it's only a little bit of work that gets you to that point where you're sorted. People will ha make it larger in, their, in themselves, partly because they don't want to do the work themselves, partly because they're fearful that if they do it and they f and they fail, and they you know they're deemed as failure in society, and deemed a failure in life.
life as well. And it's not that. It's just like you just got to get it done. And also judgment. They get worried about people judging them and what people will say and stuff. I did the same thing. Um, I used to be worried about what people said. And I was like, actually got to a point where I'm like, well, I think people need what I have to share. And some people like it, some people don't. And that's fine. If people don't like it, then cool, move on. But if you like it, it adds value to you, then use it. And that's, that's just leaving, like, literally just helping people. Like, literally down to leaving the door open for someone. Like, it's just so, so easy, so basic, so simple. Like, you know, when I'm in the supermarket and I'm, like, in a rush and I've got one item and there's a person in front of me who's got 15 items and someone's like, oh, do you want to go ahead? I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Mm. <laughs> but, like, it makes my day. Mm. And, like, there's, like, and, like, literally, there's no financial value to that. It's not about financial value. It's just about being a good human. People so it comes down to gratitude, basically. Yeah, but people are lost in the glitziness of like, oh, how do I monetize this? How do I make money from this? Like, you don't have to make money from every problem that you solve. You just have to just solve that problem. Just help people. Just, it's really that basic. Like, it really is that basic. And people have just forgotten how to be human. It's like, just be human. Well, it's because you're looking for your next fix. You're looking for your next... It's always there's always something else that that was my my mic drop moment oh really yeah i'm, I'm out <laughs>